A number one New York Times best-selling and award-winning author, he's out with a stunning new book. It is called Ain't Burned All the Bright. Jason Reynolds, welcome here to Good Morning America. I, I want to—I got to get to the description. I want to read the description of this book in full because it is brilliant. It says, "Quote: Contemplation manifesto to fierce, vulnerable, gorgeous, terrifying. What is wrong with him? Humans hope filled, hopeful." Searing, eye-poppingly illustrated, tender, heartbreaking. How the heck did they come up with this project about oxygen? What can people expect? What can they expect when they start reading this? This is brilliant. <laughs> well, first, good morning. Good morning, Robin. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, what can people expect? I mean, they can expect an experience. Um, I hope this will be an opportunity to uh, reflect and reconsider and rethink uh, some of what we experienced in 2020. Um, it mm. isn't meant to be a, a, a fix-all. It isn't even meant to be um, the cleanest mirror. Uh, it's just meant to sort of examine how everything that was happening to us was stripping us of oxygen, whether it be COVID and its respiratory attacks, whether it be tear gas from the racial uprising after the murder of George Floyd, who also was killed up in a particular way that, that shut down his respiratory system, whether it be the wildfires in California. Um, and so the question becomes, how do we find our oxygen masks? Mm. And what we're trying to uh, assess is perhaps the oxygen masks are, are um, in the banality and the mundanity around us. Ooh. And I think we all learned that uh, in 2020. Yeah. And, and can I also say, it's, it's a work of art. You made sure. it with your best friend, illustrator Jason Griffin. You two have worked together before, so what makes this book different than what you've done before? You know, I think when, when Jason and I first started working, we were teenagers, you know. He's one of the most brilliant artists I've ever known and one of the best people I've ever known. And so as teenagers, we were able to be young men who could stand in front of one another and, and, and sort of um, express ourselves emotionally, uh, mentally, stand on our thoughts. And I think 20 years later, hopefully, we've just gotten a little better at that and we've distilled it uh, and it's a little more mature uh, and a little more refined. And you've written more than a dozen titles for young people, selling more than six million copies. You're also the national ambassador for young people's literature. What do you love about creating art and stories for that age group? Oof, hmm. what, don't, what don't I love, right? I think, yeah. here's the thing, I, th I think there are two things that I really love. Number one, uh, young people still believe that the world is a changeable place. And because they believe the world is a changeable place, they're a little more open to the curiosities of it. And so I get to explore uh, in really interesting ways what it means to be a young human being because they're completely open to it because they think all things are possible. Right. Yeah. Secondly, secondly, I think all people, but especially young folks, uh, are searching for containers for their secrets. A lot of us mm. just need a place, a capsule to trap the things that we don't necessarily feel like we can say out loud. And books can sometimes be the perfect place to put them. And you express yourself so well. You, I, I can oh. just I can just listen to you and, and your books and everything. You've got a, you've got some loyal fans out there. <laughs> and so we want to hear from a couple of them. This is what uh, Xavier wants to ask you. Hi, Mr. Reynolds. My name is Xavier. My question is, what inspired you to make a book about a superhero? Oh, Xavier. Uh, it's a good question. I mean, I think, much like John Cena knows, right? I think, <laughs> I think that superheroes are um, the perfect alter egos for so many of us because they give us an opportunity to feel like we could be heroes over our, ourselves, right? It's almost like if I have something that is different, whether it be a learning difference, a physical difference, uh, the alter ego of a superhero can be the thing to make me feel bigger and, 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 and um, uh, stronger than I might feel in my everyday life. That being said, I also yeah. think that superheroes convince us that the things that we think are weaknesses are often superpowers in and of themselves. And so those two things alone are the reason why I try to drill down on the superhero Yeah, thing and there's sure. a little bit, little bit of superhero in all of us, I'd like to think. Of course. Yeah, and okay, here's a final question. This is coming from a teacher who's asking a question on behalf of one of her students. Here it is. Well, this question actually just popped up from one of my blossoming writers, and he asked me the other day this, how does Jason Reynolds determine when to write in free verse or not? Mm, this is a good question. <laughs> I, I, here's what I'll say. I'll say this. It's different for everybody. We all get to make our decisions however we want. Now, for me, uh, free verse um, has to do with 
the containment of either uh, an emotion, the containment of time, the containment of environment. If there is a tight space, I try to write in free verse, in free verse to sort of parallel the tight space. Now, that doesn't mean that that's the only way. I mean, we have tons of epic stories that are written in verse, right? I mean, even most of our spiritual texts are written in verse, True. right? So I don't think there's any, any sort of, you know, one for one rule. I just think that whatever your choice is to create your own rules according to that choice so that you know how to best execute the verse for your it's particular not, project. That's right. It's not one size fits all. Absolutely. Be you. And you are being you in 2022. As always, so good to see you. Wishing you oh, continued blessings. Happy New Year. Pleasure. Happy New Year. Okay. Ain't burned all the bright. Here it is. It's out today. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.